Queen Elizabeth's most expensive piece of jewelry is worth more than $8 million. The royal family is one of the wealthiest families in the world. With a combined total net worth of around $88 billion, it comes as no surprise that Queen Elizabeth has some seriously pricey jewels. But her most expensive piece of jewelry happens to be worth more than $8 million and that's not factoring in the royal history, which likely makes it worth more. The royal family's jewelry collection spans millions of dollars for years, the media has reported on the massive jewelry collection of the British royals. From Princess Diana's engagement ring to Kate Middleton's wedding tiara, people have always been in awe of how much money the family spends on jewels most of which are heirlooms that have been passed down for years, which only adds to their value. The royal family's tiaras are especially expensive. Princess Beatrice wore Queen Mary's French tiara for her wedding to Eduardo Merpelli-Mazzi in 2020. The tiara was originally gifted to Queen Mary by Queen Victoria, and it's worth an estimated $6 million. Other pieces of jewelry, such as necklaces, also have high price tags. Queen Elizabeth was gifted a necklace on her coronation day that's valued at around $200,000. The Queen also owns a brooch gifted to her by her grandfather, King George V, that's worth an estimated $136,000. Queen Elizabeth's Ori Indel circlet tiara is worth an estimated $8 million when it comes to the most expensive piece of royal jewelry, one piece far outweighs the others. The Queen's Ori Indel circlet tiara takes the top spot with a value estimated at $8.18 million, according to Woman and Home. If it were up for auction, though, the tiara would likely go for much more given its royal history. The tiara was originally designed by Prince Albert, the Queen's great-great-grandfather, for his wife, Queen Victoria, back in the 1853. The piece originally consisted of 2,600 diamonds, complete with opal accents, but it has since been downsized a bit after Queen Alexandra inherited it. The crown was later passed down to Queen Mary, then to Queen Elizabeth, and finally to Queen Elizabeth II, who holds ownership over it today. Queen Elizabeth II hardly ever wears the piece. She's been spotted in it only once, according to Express, which could be because of its value, but it certainly is a showpiece. Once the Queen dies, the tiara will likely be passed down to either Camilla Parker Bowles or Kate Middleton.